Hi folks, welcome to RJ Impact. What would happen if someone offered you more freedom to do the things you want to do? More wealth to make it happen? A vision filled with possibilities, all on your own terms? easier than a low cost, low risk way to start your own business which will amass you a fortune. The opportunity before you will make your dreams come true. What on earth are you talking about I can hear you say? Well today we're going to be talking about MLMs or multi-level marketing companies. You've probably heard of some of them or possibly recognise their logos. There are many, many, many that you might come across or recognize. I threw about eight parties, which were never really profitable. I remember leaving that dinner feeling as if he was saying, you're dead to me if you don't do this. I felt guilty for trying to convince people that they were worth the money. Uh, we have both had relationships are really harmed by people not using a lot of tact in a particular MLM. This was wildly uncomfortable for me and rarely fruitful. The time that I lost over $30,000 and four years of my life. Manipulating me right. into, you know, thinking that we're just hanging out as friends. I lost followers and friends and received hateful messages. What are all these companies selling? You tend not to see any of their products on supermarket or other retail shelves. Often their products are sold person to person. common factor between them is that they usually can't get enough distributors. They're always looking for new people to come and join their so-called family. Yes, most of these companies will want you to think that they are a family and yes, you can be a part of it. Perhaps someone has invited you to a seminar, someone you haven't spoken to in a while. They have an opportunity for you. They think you'll be eminently suited. You decide to explore further. After all, it can't do any harm, can it? You attend a presentation, and when you do, you're sold a lifestyle. I want to talk about a millionaire mindset. New properties, cars, holidays, jewelry, and, well, whatever your dreams are made of. You're caught up in the moment, the experience, the euphoria of the room. When you're told that it's too good to be true, then how could you refuse? This is the greatest company in the world! Perhaps something feels wrong, but you can't quite put your finger on it. However, look at all these people around you, caught up in a rapture, their smiles, their enthusiasm. It's catching. You get swept up in the excitement. You decide to commit to this new world this business opportunity that will fulfill your dreams. You immerse yourself in this new world. You don't realize it yet, but you're now in a cult. You feel a religious type ecstasy. Your new family embraces you. Let's take a closer look at MLMs and how they work. At a basic level, distributors can earn money by selling the MLM's products to friends, family, or whoever. Products like makeup, health supplements, vitamins, etc. And this will earn you some money. The next level is to earn money by recruiting other distributors. This will then earn you money based on the sales of these recruits, and in turn, on the sales that these recruits generate when they in turn recruit more distributors. This is the hook that pulls in many people. The idea of this great chain of distributors below you, all generating money for you, while you sit back, is very, very appealing. Here's how one company describes the process. Let's say you signed up three friends, okay. so then you and I will help those three friends sign up their three friends and get their $700. Okay. 
Okay. Now, there's nine people there, right? Can we help those nine people sign up their three to six friends and they get a seven. So everyone kind of gets their money back. So does this sound reminiscent of anything? A pyramid scheme, perhaps? Well, yes, it does look like a pyramid scheme. Now, there are subtle differences that can put a company's business model on either side of a narrow line between a legal MLM and an illegal pyramid scheme. If you're looking at joining an MLM, perhaps attend a seminar, remember, do your due diligence. If it looks like a duck, it walks like a duck, and it quacks like a duck, the chances are it's a duck, or in our case, a pyramid scheme. However, the MLMs will do what they can to legitimize, create brand awareness and credibility, and this is cemented and promoted by some of these companies using well-known celebrities to endorse their company or products. Here's Chuck Norris supporting an MLM called Max International. After more than a year of due diligence, Gene and I joined Max International as home-based distributors and media spokespersons. And who's this supporting Herbalife? None other than soccer superstar Ronaldo. Well, with brand ambassadors like this, surely all must be fine. Surely these stars wouldn't support companies unless they were entirely trustworthy, would they? But to get you to the point where you do realize all the promises that you've heard about, realize the luxuries, the cars and so on, that you aspire to, what do you actually need to do? Let's look at a few details, or could be called hurdles, that you'll need to overcome to earn your money. First of all, most companies require you to purchase a certain amount of product when you sign up. And the more you buy over time, the greater the discount you'll get for their product. This encourages you and your fellow distributors to purchase more and more inventory to get the biggest discounts. The reward scheme for selling can be idiotically convoluted. Here's just one explanation of the reward chain. Okay, here we go. Take a look at this example. Now when E places a 4,000 volume point order at 42%, this counts as personal volume for you. But since this qualifies E to supervisor with a one month qualification, that volume now becomes encumbered for everyone in the upline. And remember, each upline distributor needs to accumulate 1,000 unencumbered volume points if they want to qualify for supervisor as well. It's just that simple. And Herbalife will pay you 5% in royalty override, plus 4% production bonus. Add retail and wholesale business, you could be making approximately $100,000 a year, and you only found three people. And that's just a portion of it. I have no idea what I've just heard. But these companies are not just about the product, it is in the recruitment of distributors that you'll find yourself increasingly engaged in. After all, you'll make money from just signing people up. So what money can you make from an LMM? Let's take a look at some data from a well-known company, Herbalife, or as they pronounce it, Herbalife. Well, in the case of Herbalife, the Federal Trade Commission fined them $200 million and in the process said, defendant's compensation program incentivizes not retail sales, but the recruiting of additional participants who will fuel the enterprise by making wholesale purchases of product. What was the 200 million for? Well, the company had to pay people who lost money trying to run an Herbalife business. According to the FTC, this was around 350,000 people. And what about Herbalife's products? Let's take one example, a multivitamin. And this has been cited as being three times the price of comparable brand names on the market. Clearly, this is a barrier to a distributor wanting to make genuine product sales. So let's get to the bottom line. 
According to one analysis, Herbalife had around 464,000 distributors and 400,000 of these made nothing. Yet another 35,000 made less than $31 a month. And that's before the distributors own costs. In fact, only the top 0.1% of distributors make more than $100,000 per year. And again, this is before their own costs. Now you can make what you want of these statistics, but the FTC themselves said, the overwhelming majority of Herbalife distributors who pursue the business opportunity make little or no money. And worse, and a substantial percentage lose money. I lost $25,000 in around 10 months. I was a Herbalife distributor for 18 months, spent well over $7,000 and have not recouped any money. I was a Herbalife distributor for less than two months and I lost almost $5,000. In the eight months that we were in, we lost at least $10,000. I was in Herbalife for about four months, five months, and I lost between fourteen and eighteen thousand dollars. The MLM business is huge. These companies make their money not really from retail sales, but from an army of distributors who buy and sell their products. Their sales are measured in billions. MLMs actually go back a long way. One of the first and biggest, Avon, can trace their roots back to the 1880s, over 140 years ago. Now, one famous example of big money betting against the industry was seen recently when Bill Ackman decided to take a short position against the MLM behemoth that is Herbalife. He wasn't afraid to call the company straight up a pyramid scheme. Right, if it's found to be a pyramid scheme, it's a zero. And you believe it's a pyramid scheme. You, you said repeatedly, and at one point I think you said that if you succeed, you're going to be donating the money, by the way, to yes. charity. You said you called it blood money. Yes. At that time, Herbalife's stock plunged 20% in three days. This actually created a financial war when Carl Icahn took a position against Ackerman and started buying shares in the company. After around five years, Ackerman had to concede defeat in what was dubbed Battle of the Titans when he exited his position. Okay, so you might think that these are just two billionaires injecting themselves into the market, but the publicity they generated is indicative of just how pervasive MLM companies are in the everyday marketplace. According to Statista, the size of the direct selling market worldwide was nearly 200 billion in 2018. The industry is huge. Now, due to the scandals associated with some of the companies and the pandemic, there are signs that the market has declined over the last couple of years, but nonetheless, these remain a huge force worldwide. So, here you are, a few months, or maybe a year or two later. You reflect on what you've achieved. You look around, you're still living in the same home. The debts you had are still there. What's happened to those dreams? You didn't take a holiday this year, but perhaps that was because you were working on your success so hard, you tell yourself. But then you take another look around. Your garage, it's full of unsold stock that you had to purchase just to keep your status in the pyramid. The one or two people you did recruit just aren't selling and they aren't recruiting either. You've alienated friends you've known for years and the only people you do speak to these days are other distributors from your company. There's a realisation, nothing has changed, something has gone wrong.
let's take a look at the basic premise of a typical pyramid scheme, that of recruiting new members. OK, so there's an original investor or founder of the scheme. He or she recruits, say, five people, and they pay him money to participate. They, in turn, recruit five more people, and the money flows up the chain, and in return they recruit another five people. Well, all sounds good so far, doesn't it? But it isn't viable. The math just doesn't work. Almost all of these schemes tell you that you can make money by just recruiting three or four or five, let's say, five. Then you let the five do their five. That gives you 25. What they don't show you is that you could only do that 13 cycles, and you would exceed the population of the Earth. The only people that make money in these schemes are the very, very few people in the few top tiers of the organization. The vast majority at the middle and bottom levels will not earn anything, and a substantial number will lose any money they put in themselves. But you, you're not alone, however, and you're not a fool. It's dawning on you that the MLM you joined could not work. The vast majority of those you work with and met at conferences didn't make any money either. Like people leaving a cult, you're feeling a sense of bereavement, a sense of loss. You go through a grieving process, but then you start to move on with the rest of your life. So where or what is this fine line between an MLM and a pyramid scheme? You can think of it like a set of scales, where on the one side there is the money earned by selling products, and on the other side, the money earned by recruiting people. Providing the incentives are more on the selling side of the scales, the chances are it's a legitimate MLM. If the main incentive is to recruit new distributors or members, then it could be a pyramid scheme. So, to summarise, not all MLMs are pyramid schemes, but I'd like you to consider carefully before joining an MLM. Do your due diligence. Is there a ready market for the product you are being asked to sell? What are the typical earnings for somebody joining the company at your level? Or, are you being pushed to recruit more people to join? And the focus is on building your own downline of distributors. If there's more emphasis on building the downline than selling products, beware. Does the opportunity sound just too good to be true? Beware. Yes, beware. On that note, I hope you have liked this video and hopefully it's given you some informative and educational information in an accessible way. If you do like it, then please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, then you'll get informed when I publish new material. Bye for now.